There are two different grades of surgical instruments, surgical grade and floor grade. Surgical grade instruments are high quality instruments that are constructed of stainless steel and other metal alloys, such as carbon and chromium, that resist marring, pitting, scratching, and dulling. Floor grade instruments are made from inferior metals and are not manufactured with the precision of surgical grade instruments. Floor grade instruments are intended for use in less critical applications, such as suture and suture removal kits in the emergency room. These instruments are often classified single-use items. Instruments discussed in this DVD are surgical grade. When compared side by side, the superior quality of the surgical grade instrument on the left is designed for precision during surgery. Three different types of finishes are used on metal instruments. Bright or mirror finish is highly polished, reflects light, and may cause glare in the surgical field, affecting the surgeon's vision. Satin or dull finish on instruments is preferable for its reduced glare and light reflection. Ebony is a black chromium finish used for laser surgery. Instruments are designed to match their use and the type of tissue they're used on. Each instrument used in surgery has important design features. The instruments may be heavy or delicate, long or short, sharp or blunt, narrow or wide, angled, curved or straight, completely or partially occluding, traumatic or non-traumatic to tissue, crushing or non-crushing. Although each instrument has a specific name, many surgeons ask for the instrument by its function rather than its name. For example, when the surgeon asks for a clamp, he or she expects to receive the appropriate type of clamp used for that particular tissue. There are several categories of commonly used surgical instruments. Grasping and holding, clamping and occluding, cutting and dissecting, retracting and exposing, dilating, measuring, suturing, suctioning. Some basic grasping and holding instruments include tooth tissue forceps and smooth forceps. Some examples of clamping and occluding instruments are the atraumatic clamp, the occluding clamp or hemostat, and the vascular clamp. The surgical scalpel, commonly called the knife, and surgical scissors, which are available in a wide variety of sizes and types, are basic instruments for cutting and dissecting, along with the ronger used for tissue or bone removal, shears used for cutting bone, the curette used for scraping bone or tissue, and the elevator used to elevate periosteum from the bone or dissection of tissue planes. Retracting or exposing instruments are used when a surgical wound is created and tissue layers need to be gently moved away. Both handheld and self-retaining retractors can be used to perform this task. Dilators are used to widen or stretch the inside diameter of a lumen or hollow tissue. Some common measuring instruments include the caliper, the depth gauge used to determine the length of screws to be implanted into bone, the Sims uterine sound used to measure the size of the uterus, and a sizer which is a trial, reusable replica of an implantable prosthesis. For suturing, the needle holder is used to grasp a curved needle during suturing. Commonly used suctioning instruments include pool suctions, designed to work in the abdominal cavity. The yank hour, also called the tonsil suction, designed to suction in the chest cavity and throat. And the Fraser suction, designed to suction in superficial areas in the face, neck, and ear.